Hey guys, this is Spartan 117GW. We're here at Extreme Combat, and we have this beast right here, the M14. Uh, one of the reasons we have it is because it's on the cover of Battlefield 4. Uh, so this is going to our Guns of Battlefield 4 series. Big thanks to G&G for sending this out for us to test, uh, play with, and just have a good time. But as you know, this is the M14 EBR, also known as the HBR Long and G&G's G &G lineup. Really beefy rifle. Essentially, it's supposed to be like a DMR. What's kind of interesting though about G and G M14s, they tend to, you know, behave more like an assault rifle or in, in the way that they just have a crazy ridiculous rate of fire. So the rate of fire with this thing is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, we put a LiPo battery in here. Uh, you can get away with a 7.4, but I was running 11.1 here. Uh, I was mostly playing on semi, uh, given, especially I only had one mag to run with. Uh, you carry a pretty good amount of ammo in here. It's a pretty solid high cap. Uh, you're definitely gonna want more. Uh, gonna want more though. So you can probably get like a 7.62 taco or a 7.62 blue force gear pouch when you're running this gun. As you can see, there is a ton of rail space right here. That also kind of contributes to the the front being so heavy. So if you're kind of a, a newer player or a, you know a younger guy or a skinnier guy, or you're just still growing up. You might want to wait to get this gun. Definitely a really nice collector's piece, but just as valuable on the battlefield. Has sling attachment mounts, front and aft, uh, key points there. As you as you can see, it also has a kind of a small A-frame, you know, front side post. Something that's kind of been traditional with American weaponry. Uh, has the rear side post right here. It actually has a setup, so you can act, actually have a magnified optic where you can mount it right here. I didn't have one that kind of fit the the weapon system, so I ended up going with the red dot. And you know, for the way it was set up, it actually worked out really well. I ended up using this more kind of like a carbine than a DMR. I was just kind of running up, closing the distance and engaging people. The range on this is pretty good, but one thing I noticed is that the hop up, uh, even on the lowest setting, is a little bit on the strong side. So we ended up using 0.32 uh, the Elite Force um, you know, bio BBs. So uh, that's pretty much the ammo you really want to use with this, because it kind of keeps the gun shooting flat. Uh, as you can see, the battery compartment here is actually pretty big. Uh, we fit a battery here, that's no problem. One thing I kind of didn't like is you had to take like six Allen keys out to get to it. But uh, once once it's all good to go, then you really shouldn't have any problems. Although of course, if you kind of run low on battery in mid, mid game, you're probably gonna need to leave the field to uh, swap batteries there. Also, one thing that's really cool and one of the new features of, well, of the new EBR type weapon systems is the extendable stuff. There we go. As you can see, there's quite a few positions here. Uh, and as you can see, there's also this uh, system here where you can kind of adjust and play with the stock a little bit. Um, definitely comfortable. I played with it on the fully collapsed setting because I was using it more for an ag aggressive recon type scenario, I guess you could say. Uh, but overall, I had a lot of fun with this weapon. She was about 380 FPS. It's not the strongest shooting gun out of the box, but definitely had some really nice groupings. I was picking off some headshots at medium range, no problem. Uh, but definitely a big fan of the gun. If, if you're familiar with M14s or the M1 Grand style series, G&G does a really excellent job with these charging handles. Uh, it just it just sounds so amazing, so solid. You know, I had a Sock 16 when I first started playing airsoft, and you know, I just I just love playing with the charging handles. Uh, again, something great that G&G does, and kind of something that a lot of the M14 and you know M1 Grand type weapon systems they just have a really solid charging handle and. Uh, Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and conduct our range test, and then after that, you'll get to see a little bit of gameplay, but let's go ahead and get to the shooting. Hey guys, Spartan 117 GW here. We're gonna conduct our range test. We're gonna try to make it happen before the, the sun goes down. But we got Anthony here shooting the G&G M14 heavy battle rifle, and we have Hardy down there, Spartan killer. He's about to get shot by some 3-2s. But we're gonna go ahead and conduct that test, okay? Go ahead and send some rounds down range, and make sure you have good impact on target. You can definitely hear those, that's pretty awesome. Okay, pause real quick. Hey, Hardy, walk back 15 feet. If wherever your hold was, you're gonna have to adjust it. Re-engage. I heard that one hit him. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't call your hit. <laughs> I think 
the firing blind. Oh, there you go. Uh, you got him. All right. That's a good shooter. Right. As you can see, we got Hardy basically out at 180 feet or so. Uh, basically putting like the same kind of burst you'd be shooting if you were engaging someone in battle, which is usually like five, five round burst is typical, pretty typical in airsoft. Uh, getting pretty consistent hits on them every single time. So that goes to show that the G&G M14 is combat ready. Now it's going to be, uh, you know, a little pricey, but it's definitely a good uh, piece to add to the collection. So make sure you guys check out. We're going to have a link in the description with the price and everything. Uh, but big thanks to G&G for supplying the M14 and big thanks to Anthony and uh, Hardy for being the target down there and Samurai Matt 3 for filming. But uh, this is uh, Spartan170W. Thank you guys for watching. I'm James C. Burns, I play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117GW, baby. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.